February 1st, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, I have a forgiving heart, a merciful heart. Souls need to understand their need for my mercy in order to experience it. You are living in evil times. Times when sin is not acknowledged. Few there are who respect my commandments and obey them. I am asking you today to be an example of holiness to those around you. Have a forgiving heart. Imitate my mercy to those around you. I desire souls fear my justice but do not fear me. Fear the path your acceptance of sin takes you upon, but understand it is free will that chooses such a path. I choose each soul knows me and loves me. I provide you with every opportunity to choose righteousness. Free will chooses either salvation or condemnation. Choose my will for you, which is to welcome you into paradise. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 15 through 17. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 2nd, 2021, the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, These days it is more important than ever that mankind keeps in close touch with me. If you are not listening to me, you will be easy prey for Satan. The future of your nation and of the world depends upon each one's relationship with me. As it is, this relationship is being formed by erroneous mass media, which does not take into account my will. My permitting will is always in play always affecting world and personal events. People must take into account that my omnipotence is not confounded by the evils of the day. Prayer always provides a way to change every situation. You cannot presume to know the outcome of any given situation. This so often leads to discouragement. Surrender to my divine will. Season your surrender with wisdom. Then I will lead you according to my divine will. Stay close to the rosary, which is Satan's nemesis. A note is given to read James chapter 3, 13 through 18. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good life, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This wisdom is not such as comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, There will be disorder and every vile practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, without uncertainty or insincerity. And the harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father.
February 3rd, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, I wish to implant in every heart the desire to be holy. These days, folks have many ambitions in their hearts, most of them selfish ambitions towards a comfortable existence in the world. People do not accept in their hearts that their earthly existence is passing. The goal of the heart should be to become holy and thereby gain merit in the hereafter. Build up heavenly treasure through your efforts in prayer and sacrifice, through selflessness, and most importantly, through holy love. This heavenly bank account is the only thing that will follow you into the next life. Do not let the passions of your heart be worldly, but holy ambitions. If you do this, all things will fall into focus. You will not waste precious time on worry, greed, or any concerns centered on your earthly well-being. Charity and trust will carry you into the next life, which I will share with you. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 1 through 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 4th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Personal holiness requires a conscious effort. Choices in thought, word, and deed need to focus on pleasing me. Satan knows every soul's weaknesses and uses these failings as a, por a port of entry to lead the soul off guard and into sin. Therefore, it behooves each soul to know his weaknesses and to strive to overcome them. Think of your soul as a beautiful strand of pearls to be admired by all. If, however, there is a weakness in the strand, all the pearls slide off and are lost. So it is with your journey in salvation. The soul may lead an exemplary life, but gives in to one sin repeatedly. All else is in vain due to this one sin that he cannot conquer. Each soul needs to pray for self-knowledge and insight as to where he is on the road to salvation. Self-knowledge as to the state of his soul before me is the most important aspect of the soul's quest for salvation. Any sin or failing, no matter its repetition, is forgiven by me if the soul has a repentant heart. The effort must be made by the soul to see his weaknesses, for he cannot increase in personal holiness until he does so. Salvation is obtained through personal holiness, even if personal holiness is only a goal as the soul draws his last breath. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 1 through 2. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 5th, 2021. 
Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, do not be apprehensive about the future. Please know that you are safe so long as your hearts are centered on holy love. It is then the Most Holy Mother holds you in the crossing of her arms. While there is turmoil all around you, remain at peace. The evil one wants to keep you in a state of anxiety. Then you are not trusting and cannot pray well. He fears your prayers, most of all your rosaries. Embrace the present moment with holy love. Satan has many plans for the world and for each soul, but you will be able to expose his plans if you remain in prayer and at peace. It is then you are my strongest instruments. The victory each of you must work for is the ultimate victory of your own salvation. Pray that souls embrace this victory in this earthly life. That way, I can share eternity with them. The note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Whatever your task, work heartily as serving the Lord and not men. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. February 6th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Allow your greatest treasure to be your relationship with me. The majority of people do not allow me into their hearts, but remain centered on their earthly existence. Some believe if they turn to me at the last moment of life, that is sufficient to be saved. They do not take into account the fact that many die a sudden death without sufficient time to repent. Then, too, is the fact that their moments on earth which they lived in sin diminishes their joy in heaven. So many live this way, allowing fate to determine their eternity. Such as these let so many present moments slip by without investing in their eternal life. So I remind you that time is a gift. Invest in a life centered on me. Do not allow any worldly interest to take precedence over your love of me and love of your neighbor. This is heavenly wisdom. A note is given to read James chapter 3, 13 through 18. Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good life, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This wisdom is not such as comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, without uncertainty or insincerity. And the harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 7th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, I have given you my commandments as a pathway to heaven. Obedience to my commandments is the garment you must wear when you present your soul before my son's judgment. Therefore learn these rules of mine 
and every nuance they represent. Do not rely on a moment of argument when you stand before your God in judgment. There will be no negotiation. Represent obedience to my commandments to others in the world around you. Every controversy can be settled by the embrace of righteousness over evil. It is man's unwillingness to accept good over evil which creates every controversy. If you think about it, my will is represented in my commandments and should be easy to figure out. My divine will is the umbrella which protects you from evil if you will obey the commandments I have imparted to you. Your eternal life depends upon this obedience. A note is given to read 1 Peter chapter 1, 22-23. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, for a sincere love of the brethren, love one another earnestly from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God. Another note is given to read First John chapter 3, 18 through 24. Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. By this we shall know that we are of the truth, and reassure our hearts before him, whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. All who keep his commandments abide in him, and he in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit which he has given us. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 8, 2021 Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, do not allow the direction of the politics of your country to change your hearts. Always embrace the truth. Use your free will to further the cause of truth in the world around you. Each of you is part of the heart of the world. Therefore, think as one of my apostles of truth and a driving force of holy love. You are under my command, so long as you obey my commandments. We can work together as a positive force to influence the world one present moment at a time. When you arise each morning, surrender the day to me by surrendering to holy love. Then I will place my arms around you and help you to discern good from evil. Your rosaries, your prayers from the heart, bind you to me in a spiritual relationship which must be a deciding force in your life. Do not look for reasons not to pray. Call to mind the state of your nation. Pray for honesty and truth to take charge once again. A note is given to read Psalm 119, 1 through 16. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. 
you have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous ordinances. I will observe your statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. How can a young man keep his way pure? by guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have laid up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. In the way of your testimonies I delight as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 9th 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Today I call your nation to take to heart the Pledge of Allegiance that used to be recited in classrooms each morning. Are you still one nation under God? From my viewpoint, you are now a nation divided in two by politics. The conservatives represent the cause of those who follow my commandments and follow the truth. All the others are either unconcerned about the course the nation follows or are instrumental in leading it away from traditional values. The technology I have gifted mankind with has been the culprit in destroying tradition and promoting decadent values. It is the age when, more than ever, morals are put to the test. It began decades ago, when families were weakened and there was no more joy in family traditions. Holy days, such as Christmas and Easter, were reduced to secular celebrations. The true meaning of holidays was lost amidst economic clatter. So today I call you to remember the Pledge of Allegiance and to choose to be under my domain once again. Choose to be a nation which reflects obedience to my commandments. Then my arms will be around you once again. My embrace will be obvious to all. A note is given to read Jonah chapter 3, verse 10. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God repented of the evil which he had said he would do to them, and he did not do it. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. February 10th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, These are the times when more and more civil laws will be levied against individual freedoms. Remember, no law can restrict what is embraced by your heart. Therefore, obey my commandments and love me above all else, and your neighbor as yourself. This is the definition of your salvation. All else is of no consequence and is passing. The more you purify what you hold in your heart, the higher your place in heaven. This is how you empty your heart of the world and become more and more holy. 
A note is given to read 2 Timothy chapter 2, 21 through 22. If any one purifies himself from what is ignoble, then he will be a vessel for noble use, consecrated and useful to the master of the house, ready for any good work. So shun youthful passions and aim at righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call upon the Lord from a pure heart. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 11th, 2021, the Feast of Our Lady of Lords. The Blessed Virgin Mary says, Praise be to Jesus. Several decades ago, I appeared to a frail, impoverished girl in Lourdes, France. Although she did not receive reams of messages, such as the ones here, many were converted by the miraculous spring water which still flows today. Once I told you, this apparition site is the Lourdes of this Western Hemisphere. In France, the Church did not take long to believe in Heaven's intervention there. Here, however, the Church has been unsupportive, despite numerous miraculous healings and many untold miracles in support of my apparitions here. This bespeaks of the cynicism of this generation, which has become dependent upon human effort and not Heaven's intervention. Prayer is no longer accepted as a solution, but as a feeble crutch. Heaven still attempts to capture hearts and return them to God's domain through the volumes of messages given here and the miracles on the property, especially Maranatha spring water. So it is once again, I invite everyone, most especially my wayward children, to read these miraculous messages and come to the site where so many favors have been granted. Most of all, trust in Heaven's loving intervention here. Believe that we are listening to every petition. I pray for all to accept God's answer to each prayer. God's will be done. Come into my arms on this blessed prayer site. A note is given to read Galatians chapter 3, 6 through 9. Thus Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. So you see that it is men of faith who are the sons of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then those who are men of faith are blessed with Abraham, who had faith. Scripture verses asked to be read by the Blessed Virgin Mary. February 12th, 2021 once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Dear children, many times you face tests of your faith, and you do not trust, which makes every trial more difficult. The way to get through any trial with grace is to focus on my love for you. That is how my precious son was able to face his crucifixion. No one will ever face a trial such as that. I urge you to keep things in perspective. You cannot live a courageous life in faith if you surrender to fear, always thinking the worst is about to happen. I am helping you in any difficulty. If you do not believe in that, you do not know me and love me as you should. I know each trial and every victory each soul will face in the future. 
I am there waiting for you. Remember, everything comes with its own attendant grace. Depend on that. A note is given to read Romans chapter 8, verse 28. We know that in everything God works for good with those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. February 12th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, The measure of your trust in me reflects the depth of your love for me. The deeper your love, the stronger your trust. The deeper your loving trust, the stronger your prayers. February 13th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Tomorrow is a holiday which celebrates love. Let's reflect for a moment how different the world would be if every heart was ruled by holy love. First and foremost, I would be placed back in my rightful position as king and creator, as the center of all good. Every soul would focus his earthly existence on earning his place in heaven as he should. Charity would rule every heart and the world itself. Therefore, there would be no need for a nuclear arms race. Borders of countries would be respected. Worldly goods would be commonly shared with empathy towards all in need. Since holy love embodies my commandments, obedience to my commandments would be like a constitution for the entire world. Such a state of grace and peace would fill every heart. The endless search for happiness which consumes hearts today would be realized in a closer relationship with me. I am describing to you a utopia on earth. However, free will chooses a different path. So tomorrow will be marked by a celebration of love which does not fill hearts, but is continually grasped for. Your perfect love and joy rests in a perfection in personal holiness and love of me. A note is given to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4 through 7 and 13. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. So faith, hope, love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 14th, 2021, Valentine's Day. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Today, my children, you are celebrating a day dedicated to love. So it is, I invite you to see how much I love you. Your very life is a gift from me, as is each life. How sad it is that this is so challenged in today's society. Life in the womb is a very dangerous place to be in the world today. So many lives are lost due to lack of love. Love of the unborn is not encouraged by many these days, and often is regarded 
as an inconvenience. Each life is a gift that only I can give. I knit each one together, giving it individual characteristics and unique talents. It is by my hand each one develops into the person I create to be loved and nurtured for what he is. So today, celebrate and love all life, all those around you and all life I create in the womb. I will celebrate with you. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 2, 8 through 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not because of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 15th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, In the world, much of your country is being blanketed with snow. Think how purified the world would be if, instead of snow, the earth was blanketed with my grace. As it is, man's souls are not open to my grace, but allow their free will to reject the grace I intend for them. Or consider this, each snowflake represents a soul slipping to their perdition due to lack of obedience to my commandments. As time goes by, everything is returned to normal. However, in reality, souls always rejecting the grace of salvation are not restored. All graces being rejected, they never are purified in my sight again. Allow my grace to melt over you and renew your spirit in holy love. Let your hearts be living furnaces of love, which change the landscape of the world and your hearts forever. Remain warm in my love. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. And by this we may be sure that we know him, if we keep his commandments. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 16th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, today I invite you to come into the warmth of my paternal divine heart. Do this by surrendering everything to me. In your acceptance is your surrender. You cannot come into my heart if you embrace unforgiveness. Give to me every sour memory, every grudge and misunderstanding. Then and only then can I fill your heart with the warmth of divine love, which is joy and peace beyond your dreams. This is the joy that unbelievers aspire to through worldly attachments. It is a joy that does not disappoint or evaporate with time. It is a foretaste of heaven. There is a place in my heart for every soul, just as there is a place in heaven for each soul. You must aspire to surrender to my will, my commandments. Then you will, through obedience to my commandments, be able to experience complete joy and peace. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 1 through 4. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. 
Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Another note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 17, 2021, Ash Wednesday. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Today you begin your Lenten season, a time of reverence for my son's passion. He fasted for forty days. I am asking you today to begin a forty-day fast of your own will. Replace certain areas of your own will with love of my Jesus and my divine will. In doing so, do not place your physical health in jeopardy, but strengthen your spiritual health. I need this most powerful sacrifice towards the spiritual well-being of the world. Your nation in particular needs to be purged of outside agitators and illicit political ambition, not of me. Pray for the spirit of patriotism to consume the heart of this nation once again. Such a positive prayer is a grace. Pray that the enemy of spiritual ambition is exposed and conquered. I am asking the Holy Mother to pray for these intentions as well. It is my will. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 15 through 17. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 18th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, As we journey into this penitential season, let us carry in our hearts some parameters for sacrifices. Sometimes the best way to sacrifice is just to lovingly accept all the day offers. No sacrifice is worthy without love in the heart. Too much emphasis is placed on giving up things the soul enjoys, and not enough emphasis is on the positive effort of taking on charitable works, such as helping those in need, praying more, even reading inspirational works. The love with which any sacrifice is offered is more important in making it worthy than the sacrifice itself. Self-abnegation should not deplete physical well-being. Have respect for the body I created. Choose sacrifices more pleasing to me, such as loving your enemies and practicing forgiveness. We can make this journey together as long as holy love permeates your heart. That must be the firm basis of each sacrifice. A note is given to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 4 through 7 and 13. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, 
believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. So faith, hope, love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 19th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, as you offer worthy sacrifices to me, based upon holy love, you are building a more secure house of personal holiness. The windows of this house see more easily into what needs to be done to please me. This is all part of the victory of your journey towards your own salvation. Sometimes the windows of this house of holiness become smudged by the attraction of the allurements of the world. It is then by your efforts you can clean the windows by recommitting to an effort to live a life of holiness. This is all part of the human condition to make the house of personal holiness secure. Treasure the opportunities you are shown to make worthy sacrifices. Once again, always keep in mind the physical well-being of the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is your corporeal body. A note is given to read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 13 through 15. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God chose you from the beginning to be saved, through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the traditions which you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 20th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, The stronger the holy love in your heart, the stronger your house of personal holiness is. Holy love increases in strength in proportion to your efforts to please me. All your prayers and sacrifices are as worthy as the holy love in your heart is strong. Keep your eyes and your hearts centered always on my divine will. My will is that you love me above all else, and your neighbor as yourself. Your acceptance of your crosses is your strength. Do not boast about your crosses, for this weakens the sacrifice. Keep your focus upon the greatest good, the salvation of souls. By your example, you are teaching others how to sacrifice. These days, souls spend a great deal of time and effort on pleasing themselves. This is the effort of mass media and the efforts of advertising which promote self-happiness and pleasure. This leads to a false sense of security. Genuine security lies in a strong relationship with me. Allow me to lead you deeper into my paternal heart and to surround you with holy love. This is the goal I set before you the goal I call you to. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 5, 15 through 17. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, 
but understand what the will of the Lord is. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 21st, 2021 Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Every situation or event that occurs in the world is a means of returning souls to love of me. I give opportunities from the love I hold in my heart for each soul to win his salvation and a higher place in heaven. Understand, then, that each cross is a grace towards the salvation of the soul's own salvation or the salvation of others. Every soul is needy in my eyes and capable of a more secure house of personal holiness. In heaven you will understand every grace that was afforded you. It is only then you will see clearly the opportunities which you accepted and those that you allowed to slip out of your grasp without any spiritual prosper. The soul who realizes his call to earn his place in heaven understands most clearly how Satan lays snares for him in the world. The world and all it offers must not be your goal. Your own salvation and personal holiness must be your priority in your earthly life. A note is given to read Colossians chapter 3, 1 through 10. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. In these you once walked when you lived in them. But now put them all away. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and foul talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old nature with its practices and have put on the new nature, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 22nd, 2021. I, Maureen, saw two angels with swords in their hands. One angel touched the cloud on the left and said, Blessed be God forever. The other angel touched the cloud on the right, saying, Praise be Jesus Christ. Then I saw the great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, prepare your hearts for my son's second coming every day by praying for his victory in all hearts. Grasp the victory in your own heart through prayer and sacrifice. Take the sword of victory in your hand and protect yourself from Satan's discouragement. Be courageous in your fight for the truth. Truth is the precursor of my son's return. A note is given to read Ephesians chapter 6, 10 through 17. Finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, 
against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having fastened the belt of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the equipment of the gospel of peace. Besides all these, taking the shield of faith, with which you can quench all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 24th, 2021 Once again I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, My children, you have suffered through many trials, not the least of which is many tests of faith. I ask you now to unite in prayer for all those in leadership roles, not only politically, but those in religious roles as well. Many lack proper discernment and act indiscreetly, causing misdirection for those under them. Amidst this confusion, Satan has his inroads into many souls. This is how many souls are misguided and even lost. Aside from this, whole countries succumb to error. In your country here, actions are being taken to dissolve the borders. This is in support of the new world order, which is Satan's plan to gain control of the world. Stand with me in righteousness and truth. Do not pave the way for a one-world leader, which is the threshold for Satan. A note is given to read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 9 through 15. The coming of the lawless one by the activity of Satan will be with all power and with pretended signs and wonders, and with all wicked deception for those who are to perish because they refused to love the truth, and so be saved. Therefore God sends upon them a strong delusion to make them believe what is false, so that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God shows you from the beginning to be saved, through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the traditions which you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 25th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Begin to understand that my son's heart is a reflection of my paternal heart. It is both sacred and mournful. My heart remains mournful so long as any of my children continue to live in disobedience to my commandments. No one finds complete happiness or peace through love of the world and its pleasures. No one can escape my divine will, which knows all and permits all. Surrender every problem to me by accepting my omnipotence and trusting that every aspect of your earthly existence is by my plan for your salvation. There are so many whom are yet to find solace in my grace, who have yet 
to know me. They may even see my commandments as rules to rebel against, instead of a guide along the path of salvation. All I can do is offer my love, an unending font of mercy. I never reject a repentant heart. Therefore, see to your happiness in heaven now by living in my divine, peaceful love. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, 1 through 24. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we, we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. Anyone who abides in him does not sin. Anyone who sins has not seen him, nor has he known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who does right is righteous, as he is righteous. He who commits sin is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Anyone born of God does not commit sin, for God's seed abides in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. By this it may be seen who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not do right is not of God nor he who does not love his brother. For this is the message which you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, and not be like Cain, who was of the evil one, and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil, and his brother's righteous. Do not wonder, brethren, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brethren. He who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. By this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our hearts before him, whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who keep his commandments abide in him, and he in them. 
And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit which he has given us. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 26th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Today I invite all people and all nations to become a part of my army of victory. I speak of victory over sin by the free will choice of the renunciation of sin. Be a soldier of truth, claiming subjection to my Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and thereby submission to my Ten Commandments. You cannot claim victory unless you love me above all else and your neighbor as yourself. To accomplish this, compliance to my first commandment, you need to practice self-renunciation. Stand apart from selfish ambition, which leads to corruption of the heart. In the end, all you have to give me is the state of your heart as you draw your last breath. Change your priorities to focus on me and love of others. Do not be distracted by how others view you or how you fit into the world. Worldly opinions do not follow you to the grave. Be a part of my victory now by living the truth of life according to obedience to my commandments. I will exonerate you of all your faults at the time of your death. A note is given to read 1 Peter chapter 1, 22-23. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, for a sincere love of the brethren. Love one another earnestly from the heart. You have been born anew, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and abiding word of God. Another note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, verse 18. Little children, let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father. February 27th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Children, claim your victory when you arise in the morning. Do not allow your hearts to be polluted by concerns or allurements of the world. The sin of disordered self-ambition corrupts hearts and has caused the corruption of the heart of the world. This is what is taking down the stability of this once superpower of this nation. Nefarious forces have woven a web of untruth throughout the mass media, destroying the truth and misrepresenting many issues. Racial prejudice and gender prejudice cloud everyday issues, making prejudice the focal point rather than the many issues at hand. Keep your focus from morning to night on righteousness, not just on prejudice. This is the issue of reverse discrimination when the truth is overlooked in favor of avoiding any prejudice. Claim your victory of truth by obeying my commandments. A note is given to read 1 John chapter 3, verse 22. And we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. Scripture verse asked to be read by God the Father. February 27th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, 
Fear controls. Caution urges proceed with wisdom. February 28th, 2021. Once again, I, Maureen, see a great flame that I have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says, Claim your victory over sin in every moment through the choices you make. This is the victory of your free will. Some spend their entire life without definitively deciding for their own salvation. These are the lost lambs who have been duped by Satan and choose the things of this world over love of me. Your victory, if you choose it, sets you free and apart from the world and its allurements. Lay up treasures in heaven through prayer and sacrifice. Ask for the strength to do this each morning when you arise. I know what is in your heart in every present moment. I see every temptation which comes your way. I know how you choose and why you choose as you do. I am your protection and your guide along the road to your salvation. You face no temptation or choice without me. Listen for my voice in the quiet of your heart. Do not be overwhelmed by any single present moment, for I am with you. Your relationship with me is your strength or your weakness as you choose it. A note is given to read Psalm 4, 2 through 3. O sons of men, how long will you be dull of heart? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Scripture verses asked to be read by God the Father.